Hey everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I have a brand new card fold to share with you all. I'm super excited. I think it looks awesome. So this has evolved from the dies that I've just recently released, but I have also shared a tutorial a couple of years ago now on my channel. So if you don't have the dies and you, you still want to make this card, you can. Okay, so I will link that up here and it will also be at the end of the video as well. But for those of you that have the dies and lots of you will have these beautiful new border dies that I have as well and they just work brilliantly with this collection. So these two here I've already shown on the Hachanda launch on TV and also on the Craft Stash Live. So this is the shape that you can create. And if you look inside there, now this looks difficult, but I promise you it's very, very easy, so don't be put off at all because you'll be very surprised just how quickly this comes together. But it's certainly going to make people look and wonder and be in amazement when they see this. Now you can have them flat like so, you just need to make a bigger envelope. This one here you could, if you wanted to, you can fold it that way and then that's seven by six. So you do have to custom, you know, um, those envelopes. They're not just gonna fit in a standard one, but you know, it's such an unusual style. I don't think that's a problem. And then, so that's just using the normal kind of straight edges and I've used the vertical stamps, which I'll show you in a moment. And then this one, I've used those wonderful birthday present edge dies and on the back you've got room to write your message and I've just continued the patterns there as well. It just looks so good. It, again, it's got that real big presence about it, that showstopper look, and I just think it looks fantastic. So let's get straight into the tutorial and I will show you how to make them. Okay, so these are the stamp sets. So they've got that vertical kind of emphasis, but you can use them you know, in, in lots of other ways as well. But I'm gonna use today this one, It's Your Birthday Yay. So I'm going to put those two together, but you can put whoop whoop, and then you've got let's party, happy birthday is a lovely one. So those are the stamps. Using the 5x7 landscape, okay, and this one here, which is the 5x7 landscape, excellent edges, and I'm using the dragonfly. And it's going to look really nice, I've already done one half of it already, but that's how they look there. So you get one, two, three, four, five dragonflies, so you can cut them all in one pass, and then we've got the edge there. So I'm going to cut one of those again in a minute, but you could also use these five by seven ones as well. So you've got the star, the balloons, and the flowers there as well. So I've already got my cardstock ready. I've got all these mats and layers, and I've cut all of this as well, which I'll talk you through in a moment. So with this piece here, you want to die cut the larger main card shape there. So I'm just gonna pop a little bit of tape down. Just pop it on that side there. And I'm just gonna run that through my machine. Okay, so that's all cut away nice and get rid of that and just take this one carefully off there. Okay, so now you have this piece with all the score lines and the cut lines are all done for us, okay? So you want to put this together just like I've shown already. But anybody that's not seen it, you've got score lines here, then it misses one, score line, it misses one. That's all got a score line, misses one, score line, miss one, and finish with a score line. So all the ones with the score line bring towards you, just lift them up. And just put your finger underneath there. You just want to start getting those score lines into place. And then opposite, so where that's got a score line there, the opposite end, as you can see there's no score line. So now you want to work with all the ones that have the score lines and they will all be opposite to the ones you've just done and push them down. So again, you're just starting to shape the card and you'll repeat this on the other end so it's exactly the same. But now you can start to see all of these pieces want to go down and these all want to come up. And there's a score line that runs right the way down through the middle. So what I find is I just put my fingers through here pop it down and bring it up towards you and just fold it on those score lines like so. You can see them there. And then if you just kind of slide it up and bring the whole thing over like so. And then I like to burnish those score lines. And flip it over and do them on this side as well. And now we've got one side of our card. So I'm just going to repeat that on this side. Okay, so now we have that card shape. So that is what the die is intended to make. If you have it, that is your, you know, the standard shape that it will do, but then you can start adding the edges here. So there's one, that's that landscape section here. So once you build up the mats and layers, which are all in the set. Um, another version here is using the balloons. 
oh, that's the five by seven, sorry. So that's the other version that you have there. Let me just bring in, this is the one that I wanted to, there's another one there with the presents. And then you've got the dragonflies and it's the dragonflies that I'm going to be doing today. I've got loads here. I've got the Miss You there with the flowers and then you've got the dragonfly one there, which is just stunning. So that is the card that you can create with this die set. But I wanna show you now how you can create that really cool card that I showed at the beginning. So if you open it up onto your scoreboard, lay it down flat, and you wanna score halfway. So in this case, it's at five inches, right down through the middle. Now you also just wanna score so you join, you know, these ones here. So it's at three and three quarters. Make sure it's right in the corner there, but three and three quarters, it will just join those up and six and a quarter. It's just gonna help you fold everything else, like so. And do it here as well. So one and a quarter, and then this end one here, which is eight and three quarters. Okay, so it just joins all of that together because we're gonna be folding it like a concertina. Now, also, you want to do all of this twice. You need two of them, okay? So I've got my second one ready. This is what we're going to aim for here, all right? So I'm going to remove the scoreboard, okay? And what we want to do is fold it in half, like so. So I'm just going to burnish that, okay? And then you're going to fold like that. So just fan it out so you can see there we just squash that together. We can pop all these out again in a minute. But just fold it in half like that and then they're gonna come down like so. So I just need to pop that one out. Make sure you've got the same on the opposite sides because you want to stick these together so they need to join. Um, and there, there we go. You can see now we've got that shape. So if I just open it up, there's that middle score line. I'm gonna stick them together and then, for, so in this case we're gonna add, let me put the glue down and it will make a bit more sense. And you're just repeating this on the on the second one that you do, but I'm just going to pop my glue all down this one side here, and then just on those there, and just make sure that the opposite side you have the right ones popped out, so they're going to line up. And then when you close it up, those will stick together along with that. And just pop your fingers in there; you can kind of squeeze those together. So just give that a minute to stick. Okay, so that's now all secure. So I'm just gonna let that kind of harden up. So next I wanna cut my borders. So I've got my dragonfly here. So I'm gonna pop it down on, I just popped it on my white card stock. So I'm actually having, you know, a contrast there. So you don't have to have, you know, it the same color as your base color. You can see there how it looks. Um, I just really like that effect. So I'm gonna lay this one down here and run that one through my machine. Okay, so that's cut one out there. So it doesn't matter which way you have this, okay? So if I bring this one in, it's gonna make a bit more sense because basically this one is gonna attach over here like this, okay? So you can start to see now how it's gonna to come together. So this one here, I can have it that way, like so. Now the next one that I cut, I don't want to just cut it again like this because I need to flip it. So I'm going to cut it with the die facing up so I get a nice smooth piece. I don't get any of the impressions from my base plate. I'm going to pop that on there. Then I'm going to pop a piece of copy paper over the top so again I don't get any you know, markings. I mean that side of the plate is quite clean anyway. And then I'm going to run that through my machine. Okay, now you only need to do this on the edge dies that are not symmetrical. So for example, the flower one there, you could just die cut all four and then just flip them over because they're exactly the same, they're a mirror image. But the dragonflies, you can see, you know, the top one flies down in that direction and this one flies across in that direction. So we just need to change it slightly. So now I can take that away, take the copy paper off of the top, bring this one in, and then I can flip it over. <laughs> <laughs> probably made that really confusing but basically it just means that we've been able to kind of have a, a nice finish on the back so you can see there it's just really nice now if you have got any raised edges all you need to do is just go over with your bone folder and it completely flattens it out and once you layer up your dragonflies on there you would never know anyway but it just gives you a really clean piece of cardstock like so so now those two will sandwich together like so. It's just going to be nice and neat. 
Okay, so next I can stick them down. So I'm going to stick the back one first. Okay, like so. So now we've just got that really nice edge. Next we want to stick them together. Now I've already put some mats and layers all on this side, so um, but you won't have them there. So you can basically stick this one over the top or that one over the top. I'm going to put this one over the top because obviously I've already put those layers on there. So I'm just going to add my glue onto this one here. Just sit that one over the top. Just hold that in place for a second. And then I'm just going to run my glue on this one. Again, it's up to you which one you want to do. And pop that one over at the top. Okay, so while that's just kind of drying, I'm going to stick the rest of my mats and layers down and all of the dragonflies. So in that die set, you get this really handy die here, which will cut the mat layers for all of these. You can see there, I've put them on, now this is going to be my front. So I've put them on all of them. You can see they're even in those ones there. I think it looks really cool. These ones I've cut myself, and then the big one that I'm going to have there with the sentiment I've cut myself as well. But I've just run that through with the white, so I've got all the pieces there, and I've gone and cut my dragonflies as well, and they're going to sit perfectly in those spaces. So I find it easier to just put the whole thing flat. I'm going to use my quick grab glue, and I like to just put a line of glue like this. So I never got a chance to do this on the TV because obviously it's a bit time consuming for TV because you've got a short amount of time to get as much in. But in my tutorials I can put it on high speed. So I just put the glue all like that. And then with the strips I can just very quickly go along and lay them all down. I just find it a bit quicker that way. And if you use a liquid glue you've got that time to be able to just wiggle them around and get them into place. You don't have to cover every one like I have, but I do think it looks quite effective. And because that die cuts so many in one go, it does make it quite quick to do. So I'm just going to stick the rest of these down. Okay, and then I can just make sure I pop out the right ones. The other ones will be stuck down anyway, so it should be quite easy to pop those out. Then I have my layers for these side pieces here. So I've got two on the front and I've got two on the back and these measure one by two and three quarters and you'll want four of those and then I've got these pieces which will go here because this one is going to go through the middle. You can see by adding those mats and layers it really does bring out all that shape of the card. So these ones here you'll want four pieces which are that same width of one inch and they are one and seven eighths, four of those, and then two of this piece here, which is two and three quarters by three and a half. I'm going to stick one on the back, but I'm going to leave the other one because I want to stamp my sentiment. Okay, so I've stuck everything down, so that's the back all done. I've also stuck the dragonflies, but I'm just going to finish the front so you can see how to do them. So it's it's really easy. What I like to do is just put a little bit of glue in the centre of the body, just there. And then if you lay down one half of the wings in over this side here, so you get a nice border, and then push down on the centre of the body, that way you know you've got it perfectly lined up. So again... Like so, I can lift them all up in a minute. Now I want to stamp my sentiment, so I've got that other piece and I'm using this colour Lagoon by the Spectrum Noir, the Quick Dry. It works perfectly with this colour here, which I think is the Tonic Studio Teal colour. So I've got the Yay stamp here. So I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to have it at the bottom again, I think. There we go, so that's all stamped nicely and then I can just, it's a quick dry ink as well so I can stick this straight onto the card. Okay, so that is all done, you can just lift these up, you can put little embellishments on them. You also, in the set, you get a larger dragonfly, so you could die cut that and have it, you know, kind of dotted around. I'm going to leave it as it is, I can add to it, you know, when I decide to use this one, but now you can just see, look at all that awesome dimension and shape and just I love it I think 
he's so cool. And then there's the back, all ready for you to be able to write your message. Nobody's going to have a card like this. I really love how this one's come together. So I'll bring back in again these ones here. So there is this one using the whoop whoop from the stamp set here. So although they are, you know, in that portrait orientation, I just stamped them separately, you know, next to each other to give you that effect there. And for this one, you know, I would just mat maybe something down here and you could write just, in a, you know, I'd write this way instead on the back of these cards. So it's that one and then bring this one back in again. I love it with the holographic cardstock. I think it looks so cool. You can see where I've done the mats and layers there actually. Just need to pop those back out there. There we go. So you've got plenty of room to write your message. And I'll bring back in again. Love these edges. And I've got some really cool 3D projects to do using these edge dies as well. So you don't just have to use them on cards. So look out for that tutorial because that's going to be coming soon. And um, I think you're going to really like that. But I think they're great. They're so much fun. They're so different. And like I said, during the launch, these are perfect for masculine makes as well. Um, and for all ages, you know, depending on what edge dies you use, you can use them for, for, for everybody, I think. So thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this very unusual card shape. And um, I look forward to seeing your versions of them over on our group. If you haven't joined Mixed Up Crafters, I will link it below, along with all of the product that I've used today. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.